most hideous cutscene. Somebody is rude. Somebody's not rude. Where are we supposed to go? Out to the central area of Alchemoth. Not Alchemoth, Aerith Sea. Like, the, where you come out of if you leave Alchemoth. Oh hey, you can see the bio the Myconis down there. What? Oh, look at that. Huh. <clears throat> Weird. Oh, yeah, landmark's disabled. Really? Yep. Damn it. That means it's gonna be cut to save. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, no, wait, where's he going? This is way <laughs> dumb bad. This He's is like, I'll just, I'll just. <laughs> Bye! Bye, Bye Shul! Bye, Dunn Man. <laughs> Shit, he's re oh. <laughs> he was really going through with that. You can't do it, it just takes forever. <laughs> hey guys. They're training. <laughs> just if I make a highlight of this, I want to just put like Eye of the Tiger over that. <laughs> this is not the right person. Is no. It? We were. Oh yeah, there's a quest there. Quest. Po messing with the party members is fun. That's actually where half the fun comes from in Xenoblade, is messing with the party members. We gotta talk to Barbaroba. Yeah! Oh, there's a red one. That means we can turn it in, right? What? Red one means we turn it in, right? Reason why Barboa not go out? Oh, this is Barboa. Well, friends bring smelly things. Oh, no. Hey, we've gained affinity, apparently, with something. Yeah. It, honestly, if we wanted to, I could go back off-stream and start doing some of the, like... No. Smaller Colony 9 stuff? No. Okay. Stop. Okay. <laughs> yeah, start looking it up. Lord Valley if we wish to reach Galahad Fortress. If Colony 6 were in better shape, we could have taken a pod from there. How are we getting there? We will take the path down from the Bionis right arm. Sword Valley is where the arm uh -huh. meets the Meconis yeah. sword. Uh -huh. So that's our route. As yes. I said earlier, it is a snow covered mountain range. I don't know the kind of password. <laughs> what? Are we all ready? Well, somehow you entered it on my phone. Oh. First, we will head to Machna Forest. This short range pod will be our transport. All aboard, people. All aboard, people. Her first. All aboard the crazy train. Oh, I updated it. I know now. It was the one password I didn't try. Okay, hang on a second. Okay, whenever you are ready, where are we going now? We have to go into the short range pod. Is that this? No, that's over here. Yep. Ooh. Fancy dildo looking thing. For real though. It looks like a mini enterprise. <laughs> <coughs> are kind we, of. Are we Let's ready? go to Machna, yep. Okay. Why not? Make sure you save the password. Mm -hmm. It looks like a thing like going derp! Derp! It's like So, Valak Mountain has probably some of the most fun ice physics in video oh. games. <laughs> ice physics? Ooh, maybe we should put some ice physics in our video. Yeah. Like, if you're doing ice physics, Valak Mountain is the way to do them in a fun way. That kind of scares me. Where am I actually going here? Well, we're back in Machna Forest because the path to uh, Valak Mountain is actually through this way. Don't worry, you can actually beat that thing up. 
It's not a unique monster. Give a pong, Ricky. Fighty! Affinity between Ricky and I. And Rick and Shulk and Dum Dum. Or as Ricky calls him, Dum Dum. Why do you keep looking at me, dude? Go look at somebody else. <laughs> Wait, dude, what? You can look at everyone. No, he keeps. He's targeting me. I know. Very obviously. <laughs> He doesn't even have hands, he's got like hooves. I feel like Shulk would have died there. Yep, very <laughs> much so. Just the giant no! I don't know if it's even worth going over here. Eh, not really. I thought that was an item. Wait, is that an item? For something, yes. Because now that we can get over here, we can, once we get the affinity up higher in yeah, Frontier Village, we'd be able to get the Monado Art Monado Eater. Which inflicts bleed status and removes all enemy buffs. Oh, I just got that out. <laughs> uh... It's a long quest chain, though. And it's even more questing to even get the three affinity. <laughs> you you say Ricky sneaky. No, you shout it, then you do your attack. Yeah, that's not being sneaky, Ricky. Well, you guys did no damage to this guy, I hope you realize. <laughs> That's because they were actually focusing on the same enemy as you. By the way, you might yeah, want to get actually behind. Yeah, I was working on it. 19,000. Oh, holy shit. <laughs> nice physics. Better than messing with party members. Yeah, it, it is true. Messing with the party members is fun, but the ice physics in this game... <laughs> Like, legit, I love the ice physics so much, I will go back into Valak Mountain on my main file, and just fly on the ice. <laughs> Why do these guys suck? Because they have awakenings that they've been using to go, to get stronger. That plus you're locked onto that one over there. I now notice that. <laughs> Squirtle Squad retreat for Suicide Squad. Favorite. Fav favorite that shit. Yep. <laughs> favorite all day. Squirtle Squad was the best. Oh. No. Squirtle Squad is the definition of squad goals. <laughs> Very it's true. Literally. Like, they're all wearing sunglasses. Do they wear those sunglasses at night, though, yes, is the question. Yes, they do. It shows that in an episode. Oh, by the way, thanks to getting the Monado 2, you can upgrade all your Monado arts to level X. Oh, yeah. 10. Yeah. I was just telling you that way you remembered. I was like, Timmer, we know. You're a bit late to that party. Panther gloves. Okay. Panther Lily. No. No? I thought I saw a red item. Yep, those are actually for the second part of Whoa. the... Machna. You guys gotta get rid of your mail. Oh, uh, just don't worry about it. <laughs> I don't have any touch on the Twitter, so it's all this guy. I actually have a couple people on there. Is this where I'm supposed to go? Yep. Valak Pass. Oh, 
There's a couple people on there that I actually like to try to talk to. So you're gonna get to see okay. Valak Mountain at night first. Well, first we get to see the face mech on being repaired. I, I do like the design for face mech on though. your rules. I got a flying robot. <laughs> So we're right now on that, on the snow-covered arm of the Bionis. Yeah. She's the one that you stab through, like, the chest. Yeah, what? <laughs> you don't remember her? What the fuck? <laughs> This is Valak Mountain at night. It's very pretty. It is, actually. It's probably one of my favorite snow-based levels in games. Alright, well. Do -do -do. I, got the, I got the Twitter looked up. It looks pretty good right now. Except for the messages. <laughs> Welcome to the stream! I think that is, yeah, Chris Crystal Beauty. Welcome to the stream. Crystal beauty. It only snows this hmm. high up on the Bionis. <laughs> Freaky hate cold. Freaky hate cold. He's from that now. A little further down is Sword Valley, right? Yes. But before then, I must show you something. It is my dick. You should. It's his dick. <laughs> this is my butt Do hole. You not see that tall formation that looks like a tower. Ruins. Ruins, to be precise. Ricky, I will pause. I will pause. Yeah. I will be pull a uh, <laughs> William Jeff, Shatner, Jeff Goldblum as well. The um <laughs> chaos of um the Monado. Monado. <laughs> Ether plum. You going down mountains? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so there are many different ways to get down to that tower. Jump. You will die. Well, it's one of the ways to get down there. Okay. It is one of the ways to well, get down there. Well, there's enough on the merchant there. Eh, who cares. Just listen to the music for this area, too. What is this? It's a little jump. Like, this is what, like, if Wisconsin and Winters weren't so harsh, is how I would kind of want, like, Christmas outside, like, 
Christmas Day outside to look. I have a sour radish. Your argument is invalid. But just listen to that, like, piano. Okay, so, guys, I don't know if you've ever done this before, but listening to your voice at two times the speed is absolutely hilarious. Mm. Yes, it is. I was searching... Amethyst Vanilla. I was searching, trying to find our uh, moments in the last update video where Timmy was yawning. Uh-huh. Yeah. And I found him. And by did... Wait, is this a... They said all these guys were dead. Well, these are different species. Those are Lofos Mo Mora Mora. Not Telethia. They look like Telethia, though. They're like Skyray, but they're not the Skyray. Oh. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> yeah, backslash. <laughs> I I love how the two of you, you pretty much have like a straight on view of the TV, and I just have a mic like right in the middle of everything. <laughs> just like, hey guys, how you doing? It's Boogan here. Can't see half the screen. Yeah, they are. Those are sound based. So crunching feet in snow. Tell me how much that sound that makes. <laughs> it makes no no sound whatsoever. Uh. Amateurs. And be careful that if it has a knockback attack, that it doesn't knock you off of this like cliff. Because it will do that. It will do that. This game is unforgiving with that. Wonderful. If an enemy has a knockback attack and you're on the ledge, it will fucking send you flying. Oh no. We are going to die. Oh, it's down here. Torterra is the only one left with us now. Hey, Torterra, pick a page from one. There's Sky Ray, but not Sky Ray. Yeah. I got another quote! Yay! <laughs> Torterra, pick a page from 1 to 231. We're doing this Marvel, You're doing it again? Marvel Ultimate Guide thing. So pick one and I'll read it out. It will. What? Oh, yeah. Oh, it will send you flying off a cliff is what okay. he's responding to. Okay, so he's, he's back to what Yeah. He's back to what we're talking about. How they will be unrelenting. Why would we not do this? Oh, that's true. You've it's been doing kind of it interesting yeah. and fun to like, yeah. right? It's interesting to learn about Marvel heroes, right? Yeah, right. Sure. Do you like this? There's, no? there's villains in there too, aren't there? Yeah, there's villains. It's Marvel characters. So you have to come down that. One hundred and eleven. Ooh. That sucks. All right. You don't get to have fun with ice physics quite yet. <coughs> oh, that's interesting. Ooh. All right. So one hundred eleven is the Mandarin. That's actually. Pretty good pick. A brilliant scientist <laughs> and expert martial artist, the Mandarin is Iron Man's arch enemy. The Mandarin was born in 1920 yeah, that. <laughs> to a wealthy Chinese family and can tr trace his ancestry back to Genghis Khan. His main source of power comes from the ten alien rings that he found in a crashed spaceship. These grant him amazing abilities. While he has seemingly died several times, he has always returned stronger than and more powerful than ever before. Both Iron Man and War Machine, or Jim Rhodes, later known as Iron Patriot, have fought the Mandarin. In one of their greatest battles, a rejuvenated Mandarin created his own city and came close to killing both heroes. The Mandarin has used his alien sentient rings to rejuvenate his body before. Um, each ma of the Mandarin's rings has its own unique power. Mandarin wears all ten and has used them in attempt to conquer Earth. His real name is unknown, and is possibly Khan. Um, his occupation is the criminal mastermind. His base is the Palace of the Star Dragon in the Valley of the Spirits, China. Wow. Wow, that's a long city. Yeah. Um, his height, he's six foot two. Okay, so we need to come back here with a... No, wait, we can climb up that. He's six foot two. He weighs 215 pounds. His eyes are blue and black, and he has black hair. Mandarin's ten rings each produce a different effect. Um... From creating a light, lightning bolts to altering the passage of time, Mandarin also is a scientific genius and expert martial artist. His allies are Fin Fang Foom, the Swordsman, and the Living wow. Laser. 
Got the longest, got a long enough name there, buddy. Think, think, think. You found your first, you found your first what? secret area, Belfagara Pedestal. What'd you say? The swordsman guy, long enough name. No, his, oh, Fing Fang Foom, the swordsman. Yeah. Okay, that's two people. Oh, okay. Whoa. And then Living Laser, and his yeah. foes are Iron Man, Iron Patriot, and Squirrel Girl. <laughs> who I can only read about Squirrel Girl now. Squirrel Girl. So yeah, here's your. Remember that thing uh, I told you you had to go down? No, go on, go down that way so you can see the little bit of ice physics that we can see right now. There's probably something up here, isn't there? Well, you have to come up here later for another quest. Oh, damn. But secret areas give a good amount of EXP when plus, discovered. Plus, we can just fly here now. Yeah. We don't. <laughs> I'm sorry, I have to read this one. At least the first sentence of this. Squirrel Girl is a So when you get to the end of that ice jump. <laughs>